Crystal Crop Protection has launched a new venture, Sapphire Crop Science, for technology-driven crop solutions. The new company will provide global standard products and services and offer 50-plus products in its portfolio, including insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, plant growth regulators, and biostimulants. Anil Nirwal, CEO of Sapphire Crop Science, said Sapphire's aim is to constantly innovate and collaborate to provide the farming community with superior products and services. Hello, I am Shikha Yadav. You are watching Agri Business News. Let's start with the latest updates. Krishi Jagran organized a live session on pulses to empower youth in achieving sustainable seed production, distribution, and agri food system. Many eminent people from the industry participated in the seminar and shared their views. For organizing this important event on the 10th of February, which is now notified as the World Pulses Day by the United Nations. And this follows the celebration of the International Pulses Year in 2016. And it's good that the FAO's initiative of 2016 is now being taken forward as a continuum. That a day has been assigned to pulses by the United Nations General Assembly. Um, when we have 68% of the population of India uh, as voting population, which is nothing but uh, dependent on agriculture, which is a farming community. Uh, so it is, and when our budget is very much focused on the farming, it is very heartening to see that Mr. Dominic, what you have done that making a farmer speak before the bureaucrats and the trade pundits, I really appreciate that. And it is quite heartwarming. Uh, my compliments to you for that. Uh, because the time is short, so a couple of points I'm going to make, three, four points. First of all, we all know that pulses are a superfood. It's a traditional food which has sustained our nutrition, especially the protein demand of the vegetarian population of India. And this is not from now. This is common from thousands of years. We, we praise pulses. Pulses is part of our life, blood, cultural, religious ethos. Uh, so there is no denying that pulses is an important part of uh, our, our uh, food. Various benefits for humankind, for people, for animals. So pulses are good for three main things, which we have to important, unlike any other crop. They're good for people in terms of nutrition and nutraceutical benefits. They're good for planet because of their agronomic benefits. And they're good for the, the, they're good for the pocket because they're affordable protein. So triple P, when you remember pulses, please remember three P, people, planet, and the pocket. CNH Industrial has reported 2021 fourth quarter and full year results with consolidated revenues of $33.4 billion, up 28% year on year. Net income of $1,760 million, with adjusted dilated EPS of $1.35 and adjusted EBIT of industrial activities of $2,140 million, the highest in company history. Net sales of industrial activities of $31,622 million, up 30%, with increase in all segments due to continued strong industry demand and price realization. Scott W. Wine, CEO of CNH Industrial, said with continued strength in our end markets and order books and a comprehensive strategy for the future, CNH Industrial is excited to enter 2022 as a pure play in agricultural and construction equipment. Mahiko held a launching ceremony for the company's new Okra hybrid, Rita, in Hyderabad for the South region in presence of business partners and farmers. Mahiko is an agricultural company focused on the research and development production, processing and marketing of seeds for India's farming fraternity. Ambuja Cement Foundation, the corporate social responsibility arm of Ambuja Cement Limited, has implemented a plantation drive in its better cotton project villages at Chandrapur for the development of community and enrichment of nature. Paul Tiwari, director and CEO of ACF, said in spite of several challenges, we implemented the tree plantation program. We have been even come up with a new and innovative idea of dense forest in the two villages of Hirapur and Mangi, which will give the land a natural dense forest look consisting of trees, shrubs and orchards. Megmani Organics Limited's revenue grew by 43.7% year-over-year to Rs 6,392 million in quarter 3 fiscal year 2022. 
The company's PAT margin stood at 10.6% in quarter 3, fiscal year 2022. The revenue of the agrochemical business rose by 55% year-over-year year to Rs 4,375 million in quarter 3, fiscal year 2022. According to the company, its revenues has grown at a CAGR of 8.0% over fiscal year 1721 with a higher contribution from the agrochemical division. Megmani Organics Limited is one of the leading agrochemicals manufacturers in India. Vietnam Report joint stock company announced the country's most prestigious animal feed companies in 2021. Cargill has been recognized as one of the Vietnam's most prestigious animal feed companies in 2021 by the Vietnam Report. Cargill has ranked second, standing out from a large group of both foreign and local feed companies with active operations in the local market. India Pesticides Limited, one of the fastest growing globally operating chemical manufacturers in India, is planning to commission new plants in 2023 by catering to international and domestic customers. Anand Swaroop Agarwal, chairman of India Pesticides Limited, said during the quarter, our profitability growth momentum continued backed by our efficient business operations and unique product offerings. Presently, we have five upcoming products in the pipeline and are about to launch by quarter two, fiscal year 2022 to 2023. For more such agri updates, keep watching Krishi Jagran Business. Thank you. Thank you.